Boom shakalaka, Bitcoin's headed for a multi-trillion dollar market as the liquid supply has never been smaller. Today's video, we're going to take a look at some bullish cases for Bitcoin and a tip for when to pull out. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including some new very bullish charts for Bitcoin and a warning when you might want to take some profits before we get into it. By the way, did you like my double entendre? Uh, before we get into it, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now today, fear and greed at 58, pretty much going sideways for the past month. The overall market sideways today, Bitcoin at 32.78, Ethereum at 19.26, BNB at 2.48, XRP 71 cents, Cardano 31 cents, Solana $27, Dogecoin 7 cents, and Polygon 79 cents. And if you want any top coins today based on AI, they would be Rocket X Exchange, Caspa, RollBitcoin, Eurocoin, and Hunt. And you can check out Tokenmetrics for yourself. There is a free trial down in the description. While you're down there, if you want to take five minutes and fill out this survey for us, we're looking to develop a product that would be helpful for you to absolutely crush it in this upcoming bull run. So we're seeking your insight. There's a link down in the description. Now, Bitcoin today continuing sideways within this band between 30 and 31.5, just continuing to go sideways for about two weeks, even though we have had a bullish cross of the 50 and 100 day moving average, hasn't really moved the price much. Although, if we take a look, longer time frame, like more than a day, more than a week, Bitcoin likely to scale into a multi-trillion dollar market. ARK Research estimates the price of one Bitcoin could exceed a million dollars by 2030. And if you don't believe them, stay tuned till the end where we'll go over exactly why in this chart. But if we take a look here, they take a look at a bunch of use cases for Bitcoin, like corporate treasuries, remittance assets, a whole bunch of different stuff, digital gold. Well, there's a bull case, a bear case, and a base case. And based on this, the base case, which is normal, not good, not bad, normal would be $682,000 per Bitcoin. The bear case, which is worst case scenario, $258,000 per Bitcoin. Best case, $1.5 million per Bitcoin. Don't you want to be a whole coiner? Yeah, I would think so. Especially when we take a look at the amount of Bitcoin that's available. Bitcoin hodlers are fanatical as ever. Would you bet against religious zealots that would stop at nothing to stack more sats? Currently, coins are flowing into illiquid wallets with little or no history of spending at a rate of 195 Bitcoin per month. That means every month, there's 195 Bitcoin less available forever, ever and ever and ever. People who will never sell. We can see also in this chart, this is Bitcoin not held by long-term holders. We can see it is decreasing pretty much the lowest levels ever. The last time it was ever even close to this low, Bitcoin 100 x So could we see a big bull run this time? Yeah, absolutely. As a matter of fact, taking a look at the relative strength index for Bitcoin, you can see it is just heading we're in the light green territory up from the blue territory, which guess what? Heads to price peaks along with RSI peaks as well. So we are par for the course. Pretty much the only people selling at this point are profit takers who bought below $20,000. Can't blame them taking profits, but likely never going to see Bitcoin at prices that low again, especially when you take a look at this Bollinger Band squeeze. The crypto market cap is beginning to expand with a price above the 20 MA, this red line in the center, after the tightest three-week compression in history. You can see the compression here shown by this blue line. If we trace it across with the yellow, it was never this tight in 2020. It was never this tight in 2015. So the last times that it was close to this tight, look at what happened afterwards. Parabolic bull run institutions are coming yeah better get prepared not only that but bitcoin's likely going up you know what else is likely going up altcoins as well some landmark ruling with bullish altcoin implications just happen to come near some potential major top in bitcoin dominance we can see bitcoin dominance likely major top like we saw back here in 2015 for bitcoin dominance but bitcoin can go parabolic at the same time it loses dominance meaning that Bitcoin goes up and altcoins go up too, which would be amazing. Right now, we are literally 
just waiting. This is the waiting moment before we have rocket launching. We've broken through uh, a support line that became resistance, broken through there, found support on there, literally just waiting to launch. Moments count down because if we take a look at the FIB target for next cycle high based on the 1.618 FIB, which in previous cycles, this pretty much marked it exactly for the top in 2021. The top in 2018 actually blew through there, but you can see it did hit resistance at that 1.618 level. Well, guess where that would be? $178,000 for this cycle, not to mention where Bitcoin could likely go. Well, how about this? If we just take a look. Wondering if the high interest rate environment and Operation Choke Point 2.0 has suppressed Bitcoin adoption temporarily or permanently. If permanent, then Bitcoin is sustainably above 1 million by 2030, otherwise 2029. If we just basically take these uh, log lines and extrapolate them over time, if we maintain the previous log growth that Bitcoin was in until we broke through below there in 2022, if we maintain that line, million dollar Bitcoin by 2029. If we take this new line and complete this by 2031. Either way, that's like eight years for a million dollar Bitcoin. John McAfee was right. Really not that far. So how do you know when to take profits? Because I've been thinking about this recently. You know, when when is it the right time to pull out? And I think the answer is before it's over, you know, ideally. I'm talking about Bitcoin here. But a few handy hints. One would be MVRV Z-score. This thing, when it peaks very sharply, that should be a time when you take some caution, take some profits. Another one that has never been wrong to date, the Pi Cycle Top Indicator has called every top, this one exactly, this one exactly, this one exactly, and this one exactly. Pi Cycle Top Indicator would be another great one to take a look at. And if you want a comprehensive way to take a look at all the different indicators to find out when the likely top is, the CBBI historical chart, Colin Talks Crypto Bitcoin Bull Run Index, takes a look at the Pi Cycle Top, the MVRE Z score, and a whole bunch of other indicators to help determine when we are at the top. Right now, you can see, not very high. We are only 29 out of a potential 100 even though it doesn't always get up to 100, it only got up to 84 right here. But 29 out of 80, yeah, we still have a long way to go. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.